Hey friends, welcome back to Study Club, our ongoing series where we discuss the tips and tricks of how to study basic medical sciences subjects in medical school. Now, pathology is one of the most important subjects in medical school because it's fundamental to understanding disease in all the organ systems. And topics such as cell injury, inflammation, and neoplasia are all recurring themes in questions across all medical subjects, which makes mastering pathology absolutely high yield. So in this video, we're going to be breaking down what are the most high yield resources in pathology, how to use flashcard apps for pathology, and how useful are buzzwords or buzz phrases. Let's get into it. Now when you're studying pathology, you can start with studying your own lecture notes because that's usually what you're going to be tested on. But of course, doing this is not enough for you to fully understand the whole picture and figure out the content in your mind, so you still have to read your textbook. Now the recommended textbook is Robin's Pathologic Basis of Disease, which is the thickest among the other Robin's books and it's also called Big Robin's. Now there's also the Medium Robin's, but the Board of Medicine who gives the Physician Licensure Examination in the Philippines and most medical schools in the country use the Big Robin's. However, the topics and concepts in this book can overwhelm you and you can easily get lost while you're reading the text. So what you can do aside from using your lecture notes is to use first aid as a guideline for you to know which concepts are worth knowing or memorizing and what you will most likely be tested on. Now what's also good with first aid is that it organizes the vast amounts of information in the textbook so that it'll be easier for you to compare and contrast two different concepts like the one in this example. And finally, in first aid, there's loads and loads of mnemonics for concepts that are not intuitive, which means information that is not readily learned or understood. Now one example of that is when you're trying to memorize the list of diseases associated with target cells. Now with the help of this mnemonic, HALT said the hunter to his target, it now becomes easier for you to recall the seemingly random list of diseases that have target cells. Now once you've studied the general rules and exceptions in pathology with the use of big robins or with the help of first aid, then you can start memorizing the details of the topics. And a flashcard app such as Anki or Brainscape can help you with that. For Anki, there are pre-made decks you can find on subreddits. But personally, I did not use Anki because pre-made decks were not a thing back in my day. So I just used Brainscape. But the problem with Brainscape, however, is that you have to make your own flashcards with it, which is quite pointless now given the availability of pre-made decks for Anki on the internet. Now finally, in pathology, aside from being heavy on memorization, it's also heavy on buzzwords and buzz phrases. And that's for majority of examinations at least. And you have to be able to recognize these buzzwords or buzz phrases because they will frequently be thrown at you in the question stem. But remember that they will rarely be placed as one of the answers. So it's useful because once you recognize these buzzwords, your recall of that specific topic will be more efficient. So you will then know what it is that the question stem is asking you about and it will help you figure out which among the options is the most possible answer. Now if you like this video and you would like to know more tips for studying in medical school, check out this video right here, which is about how to study pharmacology in medical school. Now, thank you so much for watching and do hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and see you in the next video. Bye.